free women's fasting camp. everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i'm taylor i love helping women optimize their hormones how to use peptides and how to overall build muscle lose fat and live an overall healthy lifestyle so in this video i'm going to be talking about a peptide stack that has been a big game changer for me and i've seen such positive results in my life and my client's life. So I'm going to be talking about peptide stack for anxiety. Before I get into this video, I do want to talk about this is that anxiety is so common for women and for men as well. But this is geared towards women. And a lot of the underlying issues of anxiety comes from hormonal deficiency. So just know that <clears throat> I used this stack prior to starting bioidentical and hormone replacement therapy, and I still struggle with anxiety. You're always going to have anxiety there. Life is never perfect. But I will say this, using this stack prior to being on hormones and now using this stack after being on hormones, it works completely differently. So let me just start by saying, let me just say this is that if you're not, please go get your hormones checked and get in touch with a great hormone replacement therapist doctor who is going to help uh, you understand how to optimize your hormones because that is going to be the key in honesty like with dealing with anxiety. These peptides will help, but nothing is going to be more beneficial than bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. So testosterone completely changed my life on that. So before I get into sharing this peptide stack, with you ladies, I cannot express enough. Go get your hormones worked on first. Just a learning curve that I learned. But that being said, let's get into this video. Dealing with anxiety can feel so hard because it feels so much out of our control. No one wants to have anxiety. And unless you really truly understand and you've experienced anxiety, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Look, I'm somebody who struggles with anxiety. Even though I'm on hormone replacement therapy, it's not the end-all be-all cure. Is my anxiety more manageable since starting testosterone and progesterone? Absolutely. It does not feel as crippling as it used to feel. But however, life happens. Life is never perfect. And sometimes I need a little extra support for anxiety. And that is where I have discovered pep certain peptides have really helped me with anxiety. And I've also been able to experiment on myself and use peptides that you probably wouldn't think would help with anxiety actually have been some of my favorite ones for anxiety and have made the biggest impact on my life. The other thing I'm going to also be adding into the stack is not a peptide, but it is a supplement and it is L-theanine. L-theanine has been such a huge, huge game changer on my life and all of the women that I coach, I've never once had anybody come back and say to me they didn't like or L-theanine didn't do anything for them. They all love L-theanine and they honestly say they they carry it with them at all times. So we'll get more into L-theanine and how it can be very beneficial to use along with your peptides. So starting over with our first peptide, and that is going to be Selenk. Selenk is going to be what I like to call our Zen peptide. This peptide is going to be really great because it is known for its anti-anxiety benefits, and it's also known as Zen peptide because it helps reduce stress without making you feel drowsy, which is super important, especially if you're working, you have children, and you're trying to focus throughout the day, this is going to be the peptide. It's going to help enhance your mood. It's going to help enhance the focusing. It calms your mind. It calms you down without feeling any kind of sedation feeling. It just really helps your mind be able to, you can just function without having that heavy weighted feeling in your chest. Um, if if that is where I feel the anxiety, I can feel the anxiety either in my chest or in my gut. And it just helps take that heaviness and that edge off. I like to use this more so if it's like a nervous peptide, if I can't like sit still sometimes when I'm anxious and 
especially for me when I'm going to be traveling. Like I get very like antsy. I can't sit still. Like I'm just like constantly moving around the house, but like I'm actually not really accomplishing much. I'm just starting a bunch of little projects and I'm not finishing it. So for me, this is a great peptide if I need to just have a more of a calmer effect, but I still need to be able to function and do things. It helps me be able to calm myself down to where I don't feel so scatterbrained running around the house, like doing dishes and laundry at the same time, and then start folding, you know, new bedding or like sheets. And then like I'm reorganizing my pantry. Like that's just what will happen when my anxiety gets triggered. And, um, So for me, this is a great peptide to help with anxiety, but it also helps my brain to be able to concentrate on the tasks that I'm trying to achieve. So this is also a great peptide. I like using this. I talked about this in my holiday peptides. Um, I really like using this peptide if I am going to be hosting a big function or if I'm doing a lot of multitasking in my kitchen. For me, this is a great peptide. So I like to, um, inject this peptide. I do 250 micrograms of this um, sub-Q and I will do this up to once or twice a day if I need to. I will also use this peptide as a nasal spray form as well too. Um, Currently, I'm just out of the nasal spray form. Um, I've just been using the injections lately and it's been working great. The nasal spray is nice, but I do feel like sometimes you do have to use a little bit more of it to get the same enhanced feeling that you get from the injection. But that's just my experience with it. So um, yeah, they are both great. I've used both nasal an injection, but if I'm really struggling with anxiety, personally, I like to go for the injection. So the other peptide that is along in this stack is a peptide called CMAX. And I have done videos on both on the comparison of CMAX or just a link. So go check out that video if you guys haven't, because it kind of shows, I tell you guys more about the comparison, but why this peptide is great. And it's in the stack because this peptide really helps with my brain cognition. So again, kind of going back to what I was saying, if I'm really needing to be able to function and be able to handle a lot of multitasking, if I were to have to take a test, not that I'm taking a test anymore at my age. But if I was a student and taking a test, like I wish I had this peptide when I was in school because I would get so nervous and so anxious during tests that like I would not do as well as I could have just because I psychologically just psyching myself out and overanalyzing and having anxiety from it. So this is a great peptide for that. I also really like using this peptide for when I have really heavy work days. If I am working on a big project that I'm trying to get done, this is definitely the peptide I'm going to be using. This also pairs really well with Selenq. They complement each other very well. So if you... um need the overall just neuro calmness, like calmness that you need from the Selenq. The CMAX is also going to give you the calmness too, but it's going to help your brain to be able to function. So if you're dealing more so with a lot of the mental um, mental anxiety and a lot of the mind chatter, this is going to be a great peptide to help calm that down. And they just pair and complement each other very well. Um, I know people are going to ask this. If I do a injection, I will put these two peptides in the same syringe. I will not mix them together in the same vial. I will keep them separate and put them into the same syringe. So that way I'm not having to inject myself a bunch of times. I can just put them together because they're on like, they're in similar like family pathways. These two peptides are great to combine in the same syringe. So my dosing amount that I like to do with this is 300 micrograms um, subcutaneously, um, once a day. I've had people tell me that they've used it twice a day. Personally, for me, I think using it once a day is enough for me, but that's where peptides are fun and everybody's going to respond to it different. So you have to figure out and be your own guinea pig and figure out what works for you. This is just me sharing you what worked for what works for me. So um, this is one that you also can do in a nasal spray form. So melanotan 1 is the unexpected peptide for anxiety relief, and it has played a big role in my life. Prior to 
hormone replacement therapy. Melanotan one is the peptide that absolutely changed my world and helped me so much with dealing with anxiety and hormone imbalances. So that is why it is in my stack. Melanotan one is known for its beauty enhancement of darkening your skin and UVA protection, but it also has so much cognitive enhancements that it definitely does pair well if you are somebody that has anxiety. I like to use <clears throat> this peptide in cases of when I really need to kind of just connect back to the earth and get back to reality and feel grounded again. Melanotan 1 definitely does that for me. And it just helps take that relief off. It helps so much with creative work. Um, it helps me so much with creative writing. So I just cannot say enough good things about this peptide, but it does really help play a role for me with my anxiety. I typically like to take 250 micrograms um, sub Q of this peptide. And I like to do this in the morning. Um, and honestly, like with Melanotan 1, I have run cycles of like doing like eight weeks on, eight weeks off with it if I'm really trying to help enhance more so the beauty enhancement of like tanning my skin. And I'll do that up to like two to three times a week. But if I'm using it for anxiety case, I will do that anywhere between two to three times a week, depending on just how bad the anxiety is. I might only have to do it once a week and it's, it's actually fine. Um... So I like to say too with Melanotan 1, like you don't have to run full cycles with it if you're using it for a cognitive enhancement. Um, if you are going to be using it like multiple times a week, then I definitely do suggest like making sure you're tracking how many days a week you're using it. Um, but it is one that you can use as needed. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is a supplement that I absolutely love and it has been a huge game changer in my life and with all of the women that I work with, L-theanine. L-theanine has changed so many women's lives. I have been recommending this supplement for many years. L-theanine is a great supplement that is going to help enhance the peptide effect. I feel like when I've done this stack and I've taken... I've taken L-theanine. I feel like it works stronger. And when I don't use it, the peptide stack still works. But I just feel like the L-theanine just kind of helps enhance everything. So L-theanine is a natural occurring amino acid that's found in green tea leaves. And it's known for the ability to promote relaxation without the sedation feeling again. So this is something that you can use throughout the day. And it also has like a very short time saying that it works in the body. And typically after four hours, it's basically out and you have to retake it, take more of it again. And that's where I always say like, I don't always have to take more, but I will notice like when it does wear off in my body and then I'll look at the clock and be like, okay, so it's been about four hours. I can take it again. Um, because this is a supplement, you know, it's not super dangerous. I mean, obviously you don't want to overdo it. You never should overdo it. But this is really great. Like if you just wake up in the morning and you just feel, ladies, I know you feel me, especially when you're entering your luteal phase of your menstrual cycle. This is a game changer. If you struggle with your luteal phase of your menstrual cycle, you need to be taking this supplement. Again, it's like a huge game changer. Um, if you just wake up, you're feeling anxious, go ahead. I just go ahead and just take that L-theanine and it just helps so much. The one thing too that L-theanine really helps with, it helps with the mind chatter. So ladies, I know you know what I'm talking about. You're laying in bed, your partner's asleep after laying in bed for five minutes and you look at the clock and you've still been up for the last 45 minutes to almost an hour now because you just have the running thoughts in your mind and you can't turn it off. I definitely understand that. Or if you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and then you get back in bed, those thoughts all come back and the brain turns back on and just starts thinking about all these random things that you should not be thinking about at 4 a.m. But, you know, it happens. Um, L-theanine is really good about closing and shutting down the mind chatter. The mind chatter is so 
much triggering and that feeds the anxiety is that mind chatter. So L-theanine is great if you are somebody like me that struggles with that mind chatter or you just like struggle with the anxiousness, this is going to be such a great supplement to use. You can use this in a liquid form and a capsule form. And I like to use both. Um, So let's get into how I like to stack and pair all these peptides into my morning routine if I'm struggling with anxiety. So how I like to use this stack and how I like to start my day is super beneficial. So it's, let's just say if I wake up and I'm in my luteal phase of my menstrual cycle and I just know it's going to be one of those days, the anxiety is going to be high. I wake up feeling like that. I will start off first thing in the morning with taking my L-theanine and I'm going to take about 300 milligrams of that. And what I will do is that I like to keep capsules and I like to keep liquid L-theanine. And typically I like to keep the liquid L-theanine by my bedside table. Um, it's also great to travel with you in your purse, but I always keep it on my bedside table. That way when I wake up in the middle of the night and I have mind chatter, I can just use that dropper, put it under my tongue, works instantly like a dream. And so I will wake up that morning and I will start my morning off by using that. And then once I make my way downstairs to my peptide fridge, I will then take my Selenc and C-Max in the same syringe. And then I will also follow that up with my Melanotan 1. And then I will wait about mid-morning, see how I'm feeling. And if I'm needing an extra boost, if I just feel like the Selenc just is not cutting it enough, I will do another second dose of Selenc, um, usually around probably like 12 o'clock is when I like to do this. And I will take another 100 to 300 milligrams of L-theanine. I'll just wait and see typically how I'm feeling. Most of the time it ends up being about 300 milligrams. So that's typically what I like to do. And then in the evening, I will also take about three to 600 milligrams of L-theanine in the evening. And this is what really helps me with the mind chatter anxiety of just being able to just cut off those negative thought patterns that happen when you have anxiety. So that's basically how I like to use this stack. And that's my morning routine and day routine with using these peptides. So there you have it, guys. That is my anxiety peptide stack plus supplementing with L-theanine. Anytime I've used this peptide stack with L-theanine, I just feel like it works so much better. You definitely don't have to use it together. But if you're struggling with anxiety and you're nervous about using any of these peptides, try L-theanine first and just see how that does for you. Um, I cannot tell you how many women, it's just funny, how many women have said such great things about L-theanine and how much they are all in love with it. So that has just been a really fun um, experience to hear that feedback. And these peptides have been a super big game changer for me. So if you want to know more about stacking peptides, how to stop peptides, go check out my private women's group, the Feminine Flow Collective. We talk about peptide stacking all the time, how we step peptides, how we optimize our hormones, how to be more supportive with bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, connect women to the correct medical people for bioidentical hormone replacement. So if you're interested in that and wanting to work more with me one-on-one, go check out the Feminine Flow Collective. It's a fabulous space of just a really great group of ladies who just really love learning and wanting to help each other along the way. So as always, guys, I cannot thank you enough for watching this video. If you struggle with anxiety, you're definitely not alone, even as somebody who lives a very optimized life, who does all the things, eats, trains, supplements, hormones, everything. I still struggle with anxiety from time to time. So you're definitely not alone. So um, if you like this video, if you want to share your experience with these peptides or if you struggle with anxiety and want to share your experience and tips that you've tried to help other help yourself to help other women, please always share. So until next time, guys, I will talk with you soon. 